Hello, everyone. Hi there. This Hi there. Is, uh, Cyber Settler and Hello. Nomad. Nomad Lord. Hello. So today we are going to make a review of um, Space Engineers creation. Yes. So this will be familiar to you, Nomad. Ooh, I yeah, fell. you fell. <laughs> <laughs> And, <laughs> oops and, Watch out. Um, this will be familiar to you but I I hope that this will be um, also some new stuff so this is uh, what we call the service module I prepared here and okay. uh, what we're going to showcase is the Eagle transporter vehicle inspired by the space 1999 sci-fi show from the 70s um, it was like a sky crane that operated in, in the moon in the TV show and it was designed by Brian Johnson the same who worked in Thunderbirds as well another TV show nice and also in the alien movie uh, he was uh, some designer of <clears throat> some of the special effects there so um, let me spawn the the ship the ship yeah and this will be I I will spawn the two versions the original because you have made some upgrades to yes, your first yes uh, but we're going to focus on the upgraded version but let me first spawn the this is the the original version I made to re resemble uh, most the uh, original from the original series, the Eagle Transporter. Okay. And the um, and I will spawn the upgraded version as well. It's not gonna spawn in my face, right? <laughs> so we have the Blood Moon. Because it's Halloween season, Yay! space engineers. So okay, let me spawn the other version so you can um, compare it. Okay. This is the upgraded oh. version. Okay. At first sight, it looks the same, but it has a turret in the new one. Yes. Okay. Yes, these turrets are. I think we don't need them. <laughs> Because ah, <laughs> oh, I, I thought we we were going to shoot some planets. Or something. <laughs> I I added them for defensive purposes in the game I was playing, but okay, we don't need them right now. Okay, so uh, you see the difference. One is of course the command module. <coughs> um, it has a, a more. Um, more room to for the view like the view from this command module is very <coughs> limited sorry let me see oh yes I see okay it. but i will explain again like the the generals of the of this spacecraft it's okay. uh, it's a modular spacecraft and you can see that the the command module that is this part where uh, the cockpit is has these thrusters on the back that currently are off and this is because this this was only mm -hmm. used like in emergency cases it's like a, a standalone uh, ship that you could okay. in the series it could be coupled to other ship bodies not only the eagle transporter or sky crane right okay and this is the main body of the of the ship this uh, is it has two parts um it has the Access corridor is this part, and the okay. aft module is the back, the back part, and in the middle you have the, the, what is the proper crane, where um, the the service module will, would fit. Okay. So okay. now, now we are um, we are going to. Um, make like a, a, a small um, 
to showcase it, like I, I will um, walk you through um, the ship. Awesome. I love tours. Let's tour in your and ship. And you will see that, that there's um, more space here. Yeah, um, indeed. And, and it's more... Uh, I can see more. It's not so dark as, yes, as the uh, right. previous one. So you can see that there are beds from the from the DLCs from the. Um, oh, awesome! So you can go into the bed, yes. Sleep, sleep. <laughs> okay. And here you remember that I told you that in the original design there was a um, there was a a galley in this section. The galley is like a small kitchen, and here we have the, okay. small, the small kitchen as you can oh. see. Oh, oh, I see it now. Yes. What do you want? I can make <laughs> scrambled eggs. Uh, the cook. Well, scrambled <laughs> space. They taste a bit different, but okay, they are good for your body. <laughs> <laughs> and here you have um, uh, lockers, so you can put stuff in here, like um, tools. Okay. Okay. We have lockers on both sides, so it's it's a bit more like. Um, functional this this design than the okay. previous one and here you it have a, very cool. yes, yes here you have a container in the back of the kitchen so you can put your kitchen wear there <laughs> and you have a, oh. <laughs> a survival nice. kit as well right okay Only so survival kit topperwares in the kitchen yeah <laughs> with my jinsu knives uh, Indeed. That's cool. That's and cool. And now let's go to the to the command module. Okay. Wait a second. Uh, I'm not. I'm not with my weapons equipped, so that that should that, that could be dangerous. So <laughs> I'm gonna do it here in the. Oh. Sorry, I forgot how to. Here in the in the command module, uh, we have the pilot seat, and you could and I have made a space for like you could have a seat here. But currently, I have a screen. I have two screens. This this uh, screens you can program them to show whatever you want. Really it depends depends on yes there are mods or scripts that you can download. Wow. Uh, originally, I had here a radar. Okay. A radar okay. to display. So, and here you could, for example, you could have. I was like um, preparing a seat, for example, for a uh, for a uh, another passenger to um, uh -huh. to be here. Like you could. Oh. Sit there. Is that uh, it's programmatically? What? You you did. I just added let the this the seat the seat appear by touching the screen. No, 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 no. I did I, I imagine added. that. No, no, oh, I okay. added it. I added it. Okay. Okay. So nice. and now I will show you the the aft uh, module because also there are some new stuff there that you will um, you can see. Okay. The aft module is back here. Ah, I see you walking, but I'm a bit scared of walking here. Because yes, yes, no, no. You, the you last time I was falling off the ship. You every should time. fly. Okay, just a detail okay. I want to uh, explain here. Here we have a um, uh, air vent, and when you enter uh -huh. here, this is an airlock. So okay. the, the idea is that when uh, this air, this vent is always um, throwing air into this room we are in. And if you go inside, okay. you see that it's connected inside with another vent that is always creating a vacuum. Come here where I am. Okay, let me close here. Yes, come here where uh -huh. I am and look look at that at that direction up. You will see another air vent in the ceiling. Like this thing with well, the blue, Yes, I see it. Blue. Mm -hmm. This this vent is always creating a vacuum uh -huh. and it's uh, it's uh, moving air to the other um, vent that is always pumping air to the other. So this creates like this airlock here in this room where okay. we are. So you are sure that when you go outside, you have the 
you are in the same direction. No, okay. Okay, here we have a battery for that, uh, for for in this part of the of the ship, and there's a hole here, and this hole you can fill it with uh, whatever you need. Uh, what I sometimes I use this hole to put um, uh, programmable blocks like this. Oh, nice. Yes. So this is a feature that you. You can you can put there whatever you want, and that's a feature uh, the original ship didn't have, right? Right. Well, it has the hole. Um, okay. The original ship has the hole as well, but in 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 my ex in what what I ended up using it is was to put this uh, programmable block and also a timer. I, I okay. Okay. I'm curious about something. Uh, did you? I mean, how how did you make this model of the actual ship of of the TV show? Did you I don't know? Did you watch the TV show episodes in YouTube and pause every angle, every possible angle to to nail it? Uh, no, no, it, it's a really it's a, it's a it's a it's a um, it's a simple ship. In fact, I, I find it simple. Maybe uh, the key was this, uh, these modules here that, um, you know, these four um, pods that we have with each uh, landing gear. Maybe okay. this was like the initial part I... That is quite simple, as you see. It's quite simple. There's, there's, uh, if you look at the original design mm -hmm. from, from the series, uh, this is uh, like very similar to what we have here and it's very simple so uh, if you start with this one then I think the rest what I consider is well the, 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 the middle part is basically the same right it's another yeah. part but it's in the middle it's just that yeah. it's open-ended yes. it's quite simple if you if you look at it if you if you think about this design it's very very simple not yeah, I'm asking you this because uh, watching at the TV show ship, uh, it's it's almost identical, and and that's impressive. Yes, and this is because it's a simple ship. I think it's not like uh, some like this is a work of art or something, or that I really. Uh, <laughs> I do think it's a work of art, <laughs> <laughs> like, to be honest. I think it's like. It's geometrically very simple. Yeah. So still and it's it hard to get it wrong. Efforts. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Here in the in the aft part, you can see that the nuclear reactor is here. Like you can um, you can load the the fuel. Um, Small reactor. Yes. Yes. This is a nuclear reactor. It takes uranium ingots. Yes. Uranium ingots. Uh -huh. And this is well in the series everything was powered with with uh, nuclear power because the Alpha Moon base was a place where uh, atomic waste was uh, disposed of. So this is the the original like uh, series uh, story. Nice. Uh, and you know what went wrong, right? <laughs> something has to go wrong. <laughs> if you are dealing with nuclear waste something has to go wrong <laughs> yeah okay and here um, you can come in and you can see that uh, half parties we have more room than the original and I have placed these screens yeah, here that true. that that uh, show um, some stats from the ship those screens are, are programmed by you? Uh, or? No, no, I just, this is some um, some script that I downloaded to. Nice. From the workshop that will show you some things. You uh, have to customize it, but otherwise. But they're based in what language? Python, maybe. No, no, this is uh, C sharp. You, you, oh, see. Okay. You, you program things in Space Engineers in C Sharp. Nice. So one is showing the some damage. 
the other is showing that like the power <laughs> i wonder what damage what that damage uh, means damage is for example th this rotor there's a rotor uh -huh. in the ship that is not finished it's like a oh, okay, 79 percent okay. So I thought when you were bringing uh, the ship here, you maybe scratch it off with <laughs> some asteroid or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, no, I think that that was from the original build. That, uh, so I think okay. they didn't finish it. And uh, yeah, and here you have cargo. You can cargo. You can select what cargo to to show here. So currently we have ice, but no ice. A lot of ice. Vehicle. Yes. Okay, wait a second, I'll bring the tea. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and here that, that is awesome. That screen is very cool. Yes, well, okay. it gives you like a, a more like um, functional yeah. feel to it. And here you can you have another bed, another pair of beds like in the uh, front part. Okay, like it's okay. somehow uh, symmetrical to that and another locker here and you can open this door this other door here to see what's inside what do you think this is one? inside there yes this one yes. uh what do let you think me guess inside? let me guess uh what we haven't seen yet in the ship uh i think it could be a o2 and nitrogen hydrogen generator so maybe Okay, open the door. The fuck is that? Okay, <laughs> sorry. Uh, the bathroom! Oh it's, my god! It's a bathroom, yes. Please close the door, I'm using the bathroom. <laughs> Thank you. That's the bathroom. Nice! <laughs> nice. Yup. Wow. So this is I also a part of the DLC. Yeah, but 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 that's not the way the people go to bathroom in space in International Space Station, for example, right? I think it's a very spacey thing. Well, it's a vacuum. Oh no! Basically. Yeah, yeah. I I meant yes. I meant the the beds. They don't sleep horizontally. Horizontally. Ah yes, but here you can see that they have like this, uh, how you call it, these uh, handles to keep you in mm -hmm. place. Right? Yeah, it's not like a normal bed either. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They could put it's it not in a the Minecraft wall. bed. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so and that's... this resembles the the TV the TV show Eagle Ship. Uh, uh, no, I, I think only the, the interior TV. the interior of the ship uh, in general in general. No, I think the only thing that this aft component has in common. Uh, uh -huh. with the original is that the nuclear reactor is here okay but the okay. beds and the bathroom i think no i don't remember this at least well we'll have to watch the whole series <laughs> again to see if they have the bathroom there <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> no they are they are blueprints in, in the internet really you, where you can see <laughs> wow. really detailed well of nice. course i checked the the blueprints that's for sure, but I don't remember okay. the bathroom. <laughs> so you cheated there. <laughs> okay. I'm kidding. It's impressive. <laughs> okay, so now let's focus a little bit on the crane part. Like uh, we have uh -huh. like, these four um, blocks here. They are called merge blocks, and they okay. resemble like um, spaceports, like docking ports. Okay. And what we're going to do now is again this maneuver to uh, attach the service module here to the crane so okay. i will do that and hopefully everything is going to go well <laughs> ah by the way i have i have uh, just more details here i have these little cameras on the bottom of the of the oh. ship so nice. I can, uh, I can, um, or the pilot can have a more accurate um, alignment with. The so there are functional cameras. Yes, yes, yes. Nice. These are functional cameras. So now um, I will 
unfortunately well I, I will have an external view because in this this time around do you want to sit in the ship or outside maybe both i will see both. half of <laughs> half of the process in the ship and half of the process outside you know that you can press v and you will be looking outside how what's like, how is that like if you sit inside the ship and you press v then you have like this third person view okay okay let me try that oh Okay, I'm trying to enter the ship in the cargo container. Okay, now I found the door. Uh -huh. No, but you, but in the new version, right? Yes. Not in the old. Ah, where are you? Okay. Ah, you're coming. Okay. Uh huh. You can sit there if you want, wherever you want. You. It's up to you. So if I press V, I see from outside. Oh, look at that! Nice. Yeah. But I can move the camera. I, I, I can just rotate. Yes. Taking me as a pivot, as a rotation. Yes, pivot. with Alt. With Alt. With Alt, mouse wheel. And mouse wheel. It yes. the zoom, right? Yes. Okay, so let's get on with it. Okay. So, for example, I could, I could. Uh, Look at the camera. I'm looking now at the camera. Oops. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Crash. good camera. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that camera is awesome. It it tells you when when objects are nearby and stuff. <laughs> well, shit happens. Oops. <laughs> wow. The good okay. thing is that we're in space and nobody heard that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so <laughs> I think I will respawn everything. <laughs> Let me get out <laughs> because I, I, I don't want to be stuck in the nether or something. Okay. That's what happened when you use the camera. <laughs> don't use the camera. <laughs> yeah. I think that camera part needs some tweaks or something. <laughs> but it felt very cool. I, I have a, a neck pain now, but I really enjoyed that. That's like a and all the time cast. and all the time it took for me to um, to get this thing right. Man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, something uh, something had to fail. <laughs> it's Not everything like could be perfect. It's always like that. Man. Okay. Okay, and now. Uh, That's because it's Halloween. It's, uh, yes, I think it's so. It's not that big deal. Yeah. This is Halloween. This is Halloween. Maybe I'll try to be on the platform this time. Okay. You don't want to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> not really. I I, want, I I really like the 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 plane feeling of it. Okay. Mhm. Mm Okay, let me put it again. Ah, there we go. There we go. <gasps> okay, in my nose. <laughs> <laughs> in your nose. I was just running through that part of the platform. <laughs> oh, man. I think... Oh, and this is... Okay. It's kind of floating, so this could... Oh, ship's gone. Yes, because it... it, it it was damaged. Yeah. <laughs> Coming from Venezuela, I think I, I thought it was stalling or something. <laughs> My ship, where is it? Okay, so now let's let's do this. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it's it's okay. You it's not my money. You shouldn't. You shouldn't. Just focus on the camera. Okay, better is like that. Okay. Okay, so now I will. Um, so the thing is that uh, we have to align it. 
with okay. the, with, the, with the ship like you saw before. Mm -hmm. I want to. Yes, that's better. All this uh, UI stuff. So you have. We have to align the the. Uh, the connector, right? The merge the blocks, socket. yes, right. The merge blocks with the ones in the in the service module. Okay. So the idea is that the service module is like some, for example, you could the Eagle transporter will would uh, transport this um, module, and for example, mm -hmm. leave it in I don't know some some moon or planet or asteroid. This this. Um, module in particular has a parachute so because I wanted to send it to a, a planet with a atmosphere okay and nice. it has um, well later I will walk you around okay uh, the service so this is really tight here I'm trying to make you signals here uh, ah, okay. Yeah. Cool. Like That's a parking. Cool. You are aligned. I need the signals. Especially not to crash. Come a bit closer to the front of the ship. Well, I mean, go a little, a little forward, a little forward. Yeah. A little more, a little more, a little more. A little more. A little more. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> oh, careful, inbound. careful. Wait, wait. <laughs> uh -huh. Oops. Oops. Uh, yeah. No, I you think, have to go I a think, little bit. Yes, but. Oh, it will think. connect there. Yes. Okay. And now I, let me turn on the, the connectors. There we go. Okay. You see that it's creating this uh, magnetic field. Yes. Oh! Oh, we have enemies. <laughs> ah, no, these are asteroids. Okay. Oh yes. And there we go. It's connected. It's shooting at the asteroids. That this. Uh, <laughs> Wait, okay, you but cheated there. You cheated there because I just look up. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you were distracted. I looked up to see the asteroids, and when I looked down again, it was connected and perfectly aligned. <laughs> okay. So you want okay. me to disconnect it again? No, no, I believe you. We can make the uh, maneuver again. I saw it, I saw it. And I was just kidding. Okay, so, and in the middle, you see that there is this red... Um, yeah, it's it's red. This, this is the connector. This is the connector, mm -hmm. and what it does is connects cargo from the, from the Eagle the transporter to the service module. Uh, nice. Now we can turn it on. Ah, sorry, I think it's the pole. Yes, that one. There it uh, goes. Perfect. And now it turns blue for a second. No, yes. No, this this I have to do it manually. Let me see. Wait a second. Connector load and I have to lock it here. And it's locked now, right? Do you see it green now? Yes. Okay, now it's connected. Mm -hmm. And now we could just... Um, you see that now we can we can transport the... Now it moves. Yes, with the ship. It's part of the with ship. The ship. So. Yes. So you can, uh, you can come in now I to the I'm service module. I will show you a little bit of the service module. Mm -hmm. it's it's, uh, it's not not a big deal it's very simple but it it will like provide a, a starting point for a base for example okay okay so are you in ah yes you're coming in I, so i am now so you have a, a survival kit okay okay you have um, this is a hydrogen oxygen generator here then you have a cargo container to put your okay. stuff, right? Okay. 
and then you have a basic refinery this one here so this is you're nice. equipped with all this stuff that you 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 would need uh, to start right in a good way i was i was wondering i was uh, asking you what what of these models are the base things when you are playing like survival you need the the energy you need uh you need the energy with the solar panels right yes and uh, you need a survival kit for processing um like stone and where where is it ah, here, yes. here it is yes and you and also the survival kit will produce Iron ingots oxygen oxygen and hydrogen uh-huh and but, you can recharge and heal here yes okay. but in this case we have the hydrogen oxygen generator here so yes basically this survival kit what it's doing is giving you um giving you a, a place to recharge recharge and, and heal. heal right okay Ah, and and as well as a play this the with the survival kit you can assemble basic components also right because you have a refinery that will turn rock into iron and other ingots but mm -hmm. you still need the survival kit to create like the steel plates and stuff like that oh okay yes i see yes so this is this is what it what it's meant and we have here uh also a base um base station seat right to to have control over the like, like what is this for this will let you um control the the base like you can mm -hmm. uh, program uh, things uh, devices to be activated from here for example oh nice yep and this um this survival kit oh it's the same uh, sorry i haven't sent anything if if you if you access the the inventory for example from from one of these things you will see that you have access to the whole ship inventory uh when i click in the in the box icon i can see the yes yes for, you have access to oh, the inventory yes and that's that's thanks to the connector that is on the top right mm. you have access to the whole ship like Everything. It's like a backbone. Yes. You have there. Okay. Yes, like it's a conveyor belt that goes all the way through the through the ship from the. Front. Is this one where I'm standing on, right? Yeah, right. Okay. I also added this extra connector, so you could also connect something from the top. Mm. I think this what this was not present in the original. No. It's new. Yes. The other was a flatter here. Yes. And if you want to, s you can you can check out if you go into the pilot seat. Mm -hmm. Wait a second. I think I will let you drive, so you can have a. Feel. <gasps> really? Yes. So you can have a feel for it. Who's gonna pay if I crash? <laughs> <laughs> Flight seat. Wow, I'm already okay. So you you see that you have some controls, right? In the bottom. No. Like in the bottom, you see this one, two, three. Uh, I'm I'm fixed. Uh, I have my view fixed. I don't. Oh, okay. If I press Alt and move the mouse, I can see the other things. Ah, okay. Ship control panel. Press K. Okay. Yes. No. no but when you are driving the ship, like in the place where you um, have your tools or you you have to build stuff, there are like this. Um, oh. Yes. Yeah, so yes. for example, I see the six and the seven are cameras. Uh huh. So if you press six, press six, okay. for example. Yeah, I did. And you see that you see the camera, right? The camera yes. is at the bottom. It's the bottom camera, yes. Yes. So 
Wait. And the seven is the other bottom camera. Yep. Nice. So can you drive yeah. forward a little bit or it's like take it for a spin around the base? The okay. So so using the, using the cameras, you say? Or I can use no no the no no uh, as you want. It's just to sh uh, show that uh, that the service module is fixed. That we're moving. It's all part of a single ship. Yes. It feels heavy. Yes, <laughs> it's heavy. Yes. We're going for a trip to this particular asteroid for no particular reason. Just a test drive. So, how are you driving now? Are you driving with the V? Or yes, I have the, the global view. Press V and look from inside. If you press shift, you can turn your, your head around. Old. You mean? Hey, alt, sorry, alt. Yes. So, to, like to give you the sensation, if you press tab, uh -huh. you uh, eliminate all the hot stuff. Yes. To give you a feeling like it's more realistic. Mm -hmm. Like a movie style view. Yeah, so this have a little bit more... And you, you can see that, that that screen there in the front, it will it would be better if uh, we could. Uh, can you attach a camera to the front and project it in that screen? Well, that that. Uh, I don't know with a mod or something. Careful with the asteroid. Oh my God! You're pretty close to that. <laughs> Pull up terrain. Pull up terrain. Okay, I think that's that's it for <laughs> this show. You're scared enough. <laughs> you're scared enough of, of <laughs> me driving your ship. Okay, that that's that's enough. That's enough. <laughs> no, no, nice. you can you can continue driving. I'm just uh, wrapping up the video. Okay. So because we finish with the showcase, I don't know if you have any other question or if we um, wrap it up. What can you do with the ship in this game? Uh, well, that's a good question. Oh. That's a good question because one thing I, I think about this ship of is uh, something that is useful. So one thing that I want to do with the ship is like mm -hmm. use it to um, establish different bases in different parts of, okay. the, of the solar Oops. system. Okay. So this is one thing. Uh, uh, so you would like you will build these service modules, and 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 you will say take them with a transporter and leave it wherever you need to establish a new base. This is one use case. Another use case is that you have different modules for different tasks. Like there's a module for, for example, prospection. Like you want mm -hmm. to look for ore. And there's another module for defense, for example. So I will stock uh, another module with uh, uh, rocket launchers, for example. It will, okay. full of, it will be full of ammo and rocket launchers, and I will send it to a fight. And in fact, in Space 1999, there was one such a module that it was like this uh, military uh, service module. Okay. Okay. Another was a hospital, for example. Uh, another a was, medical bay. Yes, another one was to transport people, like VIP uh, personnel. So I could stock one with full of seats, you know, to, to put okay. a, a bunch of people there. It could be also like uh, to transport uh, a platoon, like a, an assault uh, platoon. Uh, and I will just leave this thing in a planet and it will 
soldiers will come out of it something like that very or, nice or you could also like uh, attach instead of a service module you could attach a rover for example okay and this and this design you made it available in workshop yes it's in the workshop well, well currently not the upgraded one i will put that as well okay currently it's just the original one that it's uh, quite you should put like a link or something in the video ah, to, yes, for yes. people who watch this to if they want to download it from yes. the workshop yes i, yeah. I would have a link in the description below <laughs> In the description below, don't remember, but I, I mean, remember to subscribe, comment, and like this video. Can we get 100 million billion likes from all the people in <laughs> India? <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye, bye, very, bye. Very good outro. That, that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah. guys. So I think that's. That's all for now, right? Yeah. Hopefully, in in the in next uh, in next episodes, we'll be we will be using the the Eagle transporter to do stuff. Nice. In in a more practical yeah, in a more practical situation. Yeah. Right. Cool. Okay, guys. That's fair. Thanks for watching. See you next time. See you. Bye. Bye.